Ever wondered how the internet and access to digital technologies can change the narrative in service delivery? Evidence and Methods Lab, with funding from Internet Society, embarked on a groundbreaking journey to explore and expand opportunities presented by Internet in enhancing service delivery within government ministries, departments and agencies, as well as local governments. On this project, we sought to explore opportunities in utilizing the internet to promote transparency and accountability. How can we utilize the internet? What sort of opportunities ex exist within using the internet? So by us being part of this project or uh, partnering with uh, EML to fund this project, it is to be able to understand how can the internet enable the effective use of the government services. The journey of deploying internet technologies and governance, highlighting breakthroughs and innovations to enhance service delivery in Uganda, was kick-started with a call for innovators with brilliant ideas on how the internet can be used as a drive in the provision of public services. We came up with a, a Ubnet SMS platform that actually promotes digital citizen engagement with leaders through a customized mobile and web-based application. Uh, basically, the Ugnet SMS platform is intended to provide solution to the grassroots uh, community people, whereby it enables them to communicate with the leaders and demand for service delivery. Douglas Onen, an innovator best in Kampala, is giving visually impaired persons a reason to smile through a groundbreaking innovation called iBiorates. This glass, as you can see, uh, we're empowering people with uh, visual challenges. They are able to read books. That's something unheard of in the African continent. They can read books. They can search the internet by simply uh, mentioning what they want to find out. And this device will jump on the internet by itself, find the information and tell it directly to the user. Amanda Biwoye from Kampala has created an online land transaction platform to combat land grabbing and fraudulent deals in Uganda. The solution I developed is called TrueGuard. TrueGuard is an app that does land checks and that does verification checks in general. And how it does so is it's connected to the government by database that's called CompuScan. So when you go to TrueGuard, Basically, what you're trying to do is to check and verify different government documentation and make sure that it's authentic. Through internet-supported technology, citizens can now monitor project implementation with ShareCard, an innovation by Sandra Awili. ShareCard is a monitoring, evaluating and learning software that has been tailored to boost the accountability of projects. So building ShareCard, we realized that there's so much data organizations process during the running of a project. Our platform is a, a software that gathers, aggregates, and analyzes program implementation data, the management of teams, all on one dashboard, and it gives you insight up to the final beneficiary in real time, both on and offline. In Vulisa and Hoima districts, an innovator has tapped into the internet space to foster citizen awareness and engagement using cyber activism. Through this initiative, citizens are being empowered to monitor government programs, processes and advocate for accountability amongst duty bearers. Currently, we are, we are using internet or technology through WhatsApp and Facebook groups where we created a number of WhatsApp groups where we have different duty bearers, where after monitoring or identifying issues of service delivery in the community, we share them with different uh, service deliveries. Recognizing the high cost of Internet Best Devices, self sustained Uganda Best in Ginger District has embarked on addressing this digital divide by providing affordable financing for infrastructure acquisition and offering cheaper cell phones on loan to citizens. Um, there is limited uh, you know, access to information. We feel bridging that infrastructural gap by providing affordable financed smartphones is one way to, um, to address the infrastructural uh, bottleneck 
towards internet connectivity, uh, that, and thus improving service delivery in government. Oscar Muhechi, an innovator based in Kampala, has developed an innovative web-based platform known as Yulis, which is transforming public service delivery in Uganda. Yulis revolutionizes accessibility, transparency and accountability by providing citizens with locations of government facilities and guidance on how to reach them. This enables citizens to promptly access essential government services, including medical and security related assistance in times of emergency. My innovation is about uh, using web maps to enhance internet service delivery in Uganda. Web maps are digital representations of what we have around us. It could be a representation of the neighborhood, including the schools, the hospitals, the police stations, all this on a digital platform. Equality Mission Uganda is an organization that offers an online platform which works towards an empowered citizenry through facilitating online debates and engagements on pertinent issues including human rights, climate change and government proactiveness. Uh, Think Church Uganda serves to solve or to bridge the gap between the leaders and the led and that is in terms of government programs and uh, transparency in the long run, accountability, how are the, lead, how are the, how are the citizens able to hold their gov the government accountable, are they part of the implementation and if they are not, how aware are they or how much knowledge do they have regarding these programs and how can they be involved or if they cannot be involved because in the long run these are things that concern the citizens. Through collaboration and innovation, Evidence and Methods Lab is charting a new path towards a more transparent, accountable and responsive governance system powered by the transformative power of the Internet.